I went shopping yesterday um, just for uh, to pick up a few things I needed and uh, I popped into Poundland and you know how I was telling you that they'd got no yarn they'd had no yarn for months well they've got yarn now <laughs> so I just had to get some oh dear <laughs> Never told me about this, did you? I got four of these. Now, <coughs> excuse me, they're called Hobby. I don't know whether it's the same as the Hobby from um, down at the at Webs, the same Hobby place down there, but it's um, it just says it's. It's a 50 gram ball and they're a pound each. So I thought, well, I'll get some and I'll try it and see what they're like. So I did. So, of course, by the time I got home, because I bought four, <laughs> I thought, what can I make? So I thought, hmm, something I've been seeing quite a lot of recently is these headbands. I know Sheila knits them. And I thought, I'll have a go at making one, not for any reason other than I've got some nice pretty yarn and I want to try it out, and besides which, I haven't tried this. So I went on Google, as you do, and YouTube, and looked for a pattern, a simple pattern, and I came up with this one, and it's a double stockinette stitch. I think that's the American term. Basically, you knit the first stitch, pull your yarn through as though you're going to purl, but then you slip the purl stitch, put the yarn back forward and knit the next one. And it's that simple. So you do that all the way across. And when you come back the other way, you do exactly the same. So you're sort of knitting half the stitches and slipping the other half. And it's a nice, easy, rhythmical pattern. And it, it comes up, you can see how it comes up. It looks almost like a rib, but it's not. And it looks the same on both sides but you can do that <laughs> which which means it's double the thickness like even, a tea bag <laughs> even though it's only one thread it's still double the thickness so i was quite impressed with that so i thought well i'll have a go at that and see how i get on and you will have noticed that today i've got my bamboo your uh, needles out because i do find sometimes when my hands hurt if i use the bamboo needles a they're lighter and b they're i don't know they seem to be sort of friendlier to your hands so i've used the bamboo needles instead so that's what i've been doing and that's and i've just pearled that and i didn't want to I can always tell when I've gone wrong because then it won't it won't separate. I've pulled three of them now. <laughs> but still, it's easy to take back. So go back to where I was. That's it. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And I, I took this with me to go and see Sandra today. And I was trying to explain to her what it was and in the end I said I'll tell you what when I've made it I'll bring it in and I can show you I said and if you like it I'll make you one and then one of the nurses came in and she said what are you making I said one of those headbandy things that twist in the middle she said I don't know what they are so I said well, I'll tell you what when I've made it, I'll bring it in and show you. 
so I think I might end up with a few orders for this. Um, I don't know how long it'll take to make up because I've not made one before and I forgot to time it, but I did perhaps an hour yesterday. Um, I did have to keep taking it back where I, in fact, there's still stitches where I've pearled when I shouldn't have done. I did have to keep t taking it back so far uh, because I kept forgetting and purling because I'm so used to doing rib. But we'll persevere. And I don't mind a few stitches being wrong in this one because it's not, it's not for sale. It's just for me to have a play with. Okay. So I thought I'd come on and show you and show you that I'm using bamboo needles which does give my hands a bit of a rest, makes it, makes it a little bit easier. I've still got the baby blanket to do. Um, I'm just waiting on the, the last two balls of tweed terracotta for the single bedspread. <laughs> okay, that'll come up. Um, and then I can crack on with that. Um, so that's now going to have a border on. And we'll talk about that another time when I get there. Um, so that's it. But I was talking to one of the nurses at the home and she, she was saying, I love seeing nurses, I love seeing people knitting. And I was saying, well, yeah, it is the number one relaxation. But we all know that because we're crafters anyway. But not everybody else does. So. Let's tell people and there'll be even more people knitting and crafting and crocheting like us mad fools. <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, I will see you in the week. I already know I've got some happy mail on the way. So when that comes, I'll do a quick video while I'm opening it and show you the happy mail. OK, and um, I'm quite sure I should be popping on for other things as well. If I can get a bit more of things done. I've still got to do some tutorials. I've really got to get those organised. I know. I'll do it. I'll try and sort some of those out this week. Okay. So in the meantime, take care. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And welcome to all the new subscribers because I know I've got some new subscribers. Uh, and thank you all very much for joining me. Bye. <laughs>